Crusaders, this is Caitlin Bross and Jordan Hardy coming to you with Crusader Nation News. Tomorrow is an all-school mask day, so students make sure to wear your mask dress. It begins at 9.30 and parents are welcome to attend. Be there to see St. Dominic Faith in action. Students, Friday is a dress down day to support Breakdown St. Louis. This organization spreads suicide, substance abuse, and violence awareness through interpretive dance in high schools. Senior Lindsay Peters is part of this organization that will be doing an assembly at St. Dominic on December 9th. Students, keep that in your radars and also bring in $2 to support Lindsay and Breakdown. The tennis team beat Palmyra 5-2 in the first round of sectionals this weekend. However, we're defeated by MICDS in the team quarterfinals. In doubles action, Adriana Hebron and Christina Green advance to state this Friday, along with Abby West for singles. Congratulations and good luck to the tennis ladies. Congratulations also goes out to our softball girls who won their district game last Friday in a dramatic fashion. Audrey Herman delivered a walk-off double in the bottom of the seventh. The Crusaders play Warrington tomorrow in sectionals. Also, we need to wish luck to our football boys as they go up against Priory this Friday. The theme is pink out for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so make sure to come on down and support our boys. The second presidential debate was held last Sunday right here in St. Louis at Washington University. It was a town hall debate with half of the questions asked by undecided voters and the other half by moderators Anderson Cooper and Martha Raditz. The questions covered a broad range of topics, including the Syrian refugee crisis, as well as energy and tax policy. Each candidate had two minutes to respond with the chance to address what their opponent had said. As we have become accustomed to, the debate was filled with interruptions and accusations from both parties. However, the final question ended the debate on a positive note when the candidates were asked to name one thing they respect about one another. Hold on a minute, Caitlin. This is just in. Ed Sheeran and Bill Nye the Science Guy have been spotted in the St. Dominic hallways. These aren't celebrities, but wait, students and teachers of St. Dominic High School, we need to investigate this. Oh, it seems the student body mistook physics and math teachers Mr. Mills for Ed Sheeran. Everybody could, with their matching hairstyles and orange locks. Also, the school is getting spooky with Fred and Witt walking the halls, the long-lost twin of Justin Russo from Wizards of Waverly Place. Bill Knight Science Guy has taken a new job also as the physics and engineering teacher at St. Dominic High School, and is now going by the name Mr. Hennekes. Wait, I think I see Bigfoot. No, that's just senior Kyle Koenig, who looks strikingly similar to the Yeti from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Have no fear, the homecoming king has embraced his Yetiness and even gave us this picture. Thanks for watching Crusader Nation. This is Caleb Ross and Jordan Hardy signing, signing off. off.